Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Manning again. I'm going to be teaching you Module 5, Lesson 1, where we're learning to use multiplication to connect volume as packing, like we did in a previous lesson, with volume as filling, like a liquid. So the things that you need to remember is that we have two different ways for measuring it. I want you to imagine this as our little yellow base 10 cube. And remember, the volume of our base 10 cube is one centimeter cubed. So if you were to imagine this filled with liquid, and I poured it into this container until I emptied all of the cubes in my solid, I would have my water here that has a volume of eight centimeters cubed except for we don't talk about liquids of having a volume of eight centimeters cubed. We talk about it in terms of liters, or in this case, milliliters. And we do that by putting it in a graduated cylinder. I didn't have a graduated cylinder, so I took a pitcher and I turned it into a graduated cylinder. And what's cool about this is it's just like a number line. If you look at that here, it's just like a number line that you would see in school, except for it's standing on, the, it's up and down, it's uh, vertical. And so the way that you measure it is you would pour your water into your graduated cylinder. And where the lot water line is, that's how much water is in there. It's hard for you guys to see on the video. Uh, maybe I can raise it up a little bit. But the water line right here is right on this 8 milliliters. And that tells me the volume of the liquid that I had in this container is 8 milliliters and the reason that is, is because one of these cubes has a volume of one centimeter cubed. So one of these equals one milliliter, which would be down here. But remember, in my packed container, I had a volume of eight cubic centimeters. So in previous lessons, we had talked about filling rectangular prisms. Now we're talking about filling cylinders, which is still a three-dimensional shape, but it's like a circle that is three-dimensional. So I encourage you to look around your house and find what products you can find that have uh, a liquid in them, but it is labeled with milliliters. I found this coffee creamer, and if you look right here, it says that it has a volume of 946 milliliters. So even though it also gives it in ounces and quarts, it also gives it in those milliliters because that's how much liquid would fit in this cylinder. With our problem set today, I'm not gonna have you worry about questions one through three. They were supposed to be something that we did with a class. Uh, I do want you to spend more time on questions five, six, and seven. For you to be able to solve these, you're going to have to remember that when we're talking about a rectangular prism like you have here, to find volume, we're going to take that length times the width times the height to get the total volume of this shape. Um, but if you notice, uh, some of them are not asking for an answer in liter or milliliters. It's asking it for like down here in one liter of water. So it's asking for in terms of liters. So you're going to have to research in one liter how many milliliters are there. If you think back to earlier lessons while we were in school, we did actually learn how to convert metric units. Um, in my classroom, we have a video that we watch where uh, they have an acronym, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And it has all of our metric unit conversions. It's gonna be really easy for you to research that, but also look here on this graduated cylinder. The very bottom, it goes from zero all the way up to one liter. And if you use some reasoning skills here, you can see that halfway through, it's at 500 milliliters. So I think if you use some basic reasoning that says, this is half a liter and that's 500 milliliters. So what is an entire liter going to be if half of it is 500 milliliters. So once you're able to solve this problem, you're going to be able to solve, but just imagine taking your rectangular prism, filling it with liquid, and then pouring it in our graduated cylinder. 
Thanks so much, guys. I hope you had fun. Don't forget, you can always go back and rewatch the videos if you need to. And um, enjoy looking around your house and seeing if you can find anything measured in milliliters like I did. That way you can really think about this idea of packing and filling.